Hello. We are having Tiara Tuesday. On, yes. On the tubes. <laughs> <laughs> on actual Tuesday. On oh. actual Tuesday for a change. We are not amused. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna start used ourselves immensely huh we have amused ourselves it's true we have um yeah. so on this the day of our quinceanera <laughs> <laughs> uh, i feel like i should just have one every year now i've reached that yeah like, yeah I'm, I'm 46 you know why not and if you hear noise in the background I'm getting a roof replaced because why not? It leaks. It leaks. Yeah. Needs to get done. So it's need a new one. Had to. It was pretty rotted. We discovered that after we enclosed the room that it's above. <laughs> Yay! So they are tearing off the roof now and putting a new one on. Okay, but, how weird! I'm just noticing our hair like totally matches. Well, yes. Because Cause it's the same color. color. <laughs> yes. We both um, have after midnight. After midnight. And then yeah. I've got magenta and black. Yeah. So we're special. We are special. It's an aesthetic. It is. When when you are a woman of a certain age, they tell you what you can wear. They don't tell you what color you can wear. Exactly. <laughs> Trooper agrees. Settle down. Trooper. Trooper! Trooper! It's just Aunt Susie. Stop it! The oh, meow, 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 at the meow. end. I like how he grumbles <laughs> like Finn. Yep. <laughs> Finn's like... <laughs> yep. Sorry about you that. You can't yell at me. <laughs> yeah. I'm a super fluke derp. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Candy sent me an amazing box of rocks yesterday so we figured we would do that um Good unboxing discuss, discuss yeah. the rocks so um, tiara tuesday brought to you by me yes i'm our own sponsor yes that is uh morgana's magics if you are looking for your own rocks she has yeah. she has become world renowned with her rocks um so i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna open with the one that surprised me as my favorite like i loved it when she was showing me but when it got here i was just like holy crap how amazing is that guy um it is a really nice carnelian it is a gorgeous carnelian and, and go ahead well because it it's got that deep deep red and then it's also translucent yes so it's got all kinds of cool stuff going on and I love carnelian as it is. So as soon as this one got here, I like held on to it for the rest of the night. <laughs> I was like, no, it's mine. And I'm like, oh, wait, no, it is mine. I don't have to share. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there was that one. And then I got some really super cool necklaces. There we go. <laughs> so yeah. One is a lovely, is that ocean jasper? It is awesome. Ocean it has the moon. Yeah, with the Jersey windows and all kinds of stuff going it on in it. It does. It's beautiful. So there we go. And then carved bone owl. Which is funny because owls apparently are a thing for me. Owls lately. love you. Owls love me. And then this, which I fell in love with it the second I saw it in your hands. I was just like, oh my God, that is the most amazing. Mark site. Yeah. Mark so I made those. Sodalite. Oh, is that the Sodalite one? Yeah. Okay. So I made those. I They came just as cabochons and I turned them into necklaces and pendants. and They are amazing. And then of course, there's the, uh, the Batarang. The battering. <laughs> That's Malagano Jasper, which is a really new find. And there's it's only in one mine in Indonesia at the moment um, that they found it. So it's a very limited amount of material. I feel like I need to just do the the transition from the Batman TV show. 
<laughs> or is like the spinning bat. <laughs> so we got the battering, which is fantastic. And wow, uh, <laughs> so many rocks. Care, you can't see it very It's well. one of the rocks that started it all. It is, yes, because, because I found I a piece of uh, Caribbean blue jazz, um, calcite. And I asked Candy, I was like, hey, what's your hookup on Caribbean calcite? And she's like, what? And she started looking into it. And so I found one and yeah, here we go. You. These are amazing. I love Yeah, them. I got some really super high quality. Um, you might also see it as called um, blue aragonite. Yes. And the reason for that being is all this aragonite inclusions that you find in it. And I say on my website that it's pretty common for it to have druzy windows and bugs and things like that. And that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, like the first piece that I got had the hole in it. Yeah, and it like the like holes and stuff is, it's a feature. It's not a defect and it's part of the charm of it. Um, I have some pieces that have it like this where it's all the way through one side or whatever and yeah. So we also got this amazing amethyst obelisk. That's actually yellow and purple fluorite. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was amethyst. Nope. It's yellow <laughs> and purple fluorite. Nice. Yeah. For first so probably <laughs> crazy. Uh, <laughs> well, no, I mean it's an easy, it's an easy um yeah, I mistake have to make because it's fun. so yeah, it's so purple and so gemmy um yeah. that it's easy. And I haven't put it in the sun, so I didn't even notice the the yellow the yellow because I've got incandescent lighting over me. Yeah. So thank you for letting me know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I mean I'm, it's it's reg regardless it's awesome and i love it okay um, i can send you an awesome piece of amethyst if you want no it's cool oh uh, those are some of my favorite they look like actual like just captured water that's um clear quartz with rainbows yeah it is i love it it's <laughs> i again i want to eat it because that's apparently a thing i do <laughs> yes <laughs> so i'm be like I mean, like, literally, it looks like an ice cube. It looks like an ice cube, yeah. It feels sort of like an ice cube, too, which is kind of awesome. Which is nice, yeah, because they're nice and cool, and they just stay nice and cool, and it's yeah. that shape, and yeah. So it's, it's neat. And then, of course, we've got the chocolate calcites that are awesome. Yeah, which look like hot chocolate, and you want to lick them. I might have. <laughs> don't lick the rocks don't lick the science Susie. it's calcite it's okay <laughs> and I washed it first <laughs> well and it was clean when you got it anyway yeah and I always like unless I'm getting selenite or something that's you know dissolvable in water I always wash them so because I'm a germaphobe yeah she is it's what I do yeah <laughs> and then this soda light is freaking amazing so <laughs> that one's a lapis also. <laughs> I'm batting a thousand. I love you today. Like oh you're God. usually so much better at identifying rocks. I than know, I am, and like, I am just like and I was like, wow, so delight with like the pyrite include where did that no? <laughs> How did you get so delight with pyrite inclusions? Oh my god, no. <sighs> <laughs> no, it's either way it's awesome it is it's a beautiful piece of lapis it has yes. so much pyrite in it it does um and where it's easy to get confused is soda lights blue and white and yeah. lapis is blue white and gold because it's got the fool's gold see <laughs> the difference yeah <laughs> so um yeah it's and it that one it looks like it has glitter embedded in it the it way does, the pyrites right? formed it really does i love it 
yeah. either way i mean i love lapis too and i am just yes. i'm not firing on all cylinders you specifically I, chose that piece too. i know <laughs> it's so bizarre i'm just not firing on all cylinders today you need more coffee it's because we didn't have coffee together this morning it's, it's my fault I only, had, I only had two cups of coffee this morning yes it is my fault for not participating in morning coffee okay prenoite with epidote yes <laughs> <laughs> this one i know <laughs> um damn it and if you look at that one real close it's rutilated yes it's got rutil in it as well as the That's epidote awesome. yeah i've literally just been like sitting them in the sun and staring at them yeah so like <laughs> epidote is a magnifier in it any of your intentions or thoughts it magnifies but rutil is black gold or silver and that actually has black rudel in it and that is also a magnifier so susie's got a kapow rock in her hand right there <laughs> kapow, kapow. <laughs> that's how my aim's better than uh, stormtroopers on star wars <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay this one you're gonna have to help me with because my head says petoskey stone and i know it's fossilized coral Yes. Okay. So if you look at it, you can see all the little corals in there. And it looks like Petoskey stone because of the way it like, it, you know, when they go ludicrous speed <laughs> in space balls. So it has that stretch where they're ludicrous speed. <laughs> They've gone plaid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah. I forgot to mute my websites. There we go. And then we've got. Da -da -da -da. Natural citrine, which is hard to find. Um, usually a lot of the citrine you see is heated. And you can tell that it's heat treated because it's kind of an orange and not especially see-through. Citrine is a form of quartz as well as, so is amethyst. Um, so when you find a citrine like that, you buy it. Just, just buy it, just get it because it's natural and it's- And it's amazing. And it's amazing. <laughs> and citrine is a good, Eating the rocks, Susie. It's like Citrine an ice is pop. good for uh, helping you focus and have energy, and that probably explains why Susie's like, because mm -hmm. <laughs> she's got that in the so and All of it. <laughs> all of it. All the rocks. And then I've got these two. You've so got a load of light bracelet. That's the little guy here. Uh huh. And then Morganite. Morganite. Mm -hmm. And Morganite is either pink, blue, green. It's like very pale colors. And they feel um, fantastic. They do feel fantastic. It's like a hug. Yes, it is. It was meant to feel like a hug. <laughs> Prize. <laughs> <laughs> and so it was Susie's birthday. And she and I do a barter thing. And so she just got a big old box of rocks and her mailman I'm sure loves me right now. You know, every once in a while, like the last time I got a shipment of rocks, it was the black river rocks, the black polished river rocks for out by my downspout that I made the mosaic oh. out of. And each box was 20 pounds of river rocks. <laughs> oh my gosh and he literally brought it up to the house and he's like what do you got in here rocks and i was like yes, yes. <laughs> my mail carrier doesn't even ask anymore she's just like woman <laughs> there's more rocks today <laughs> and so i have my mail carrier for usps bringing me rocks i have dhl bringing me rocks i have us uh ups bringing me rocks and fedex nice so they all are like the rock lady again they just... <laughs> and i get big boxes right like big boxes 
And <laughs> the DHL guy, one day he was like, what are you getting in these boxes? And I was like, rocks. He was like, from India, from Pakistan? And I was like, yes. Yes, yep. from Pakistan. From all around the globe, buddy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hence DHL. I, I am kind of sad that one of my favorite shops is no longer carrying rocks because she used to get hers from Brazil. Oh. So she was the one that I was getting like fluorite straight from the mines in Brazil from because um, she knew the people who owned the mines and she had some amazing specimens. So that was like where I got my amethyst with calcite. That's where I got my, um, my giant chunk of multicolored kyanite. And mm. I have a what is it kunzite i think i think it's a big slab of kunzite up there um but yeah i mean like i got so many rocks from her and you know ty every time he was looking for a present for me he'd contact her on facebook and be like hey it's Susie's birthday hey it's christmas time <laughs> and she'd be like your wife was really liking this rock <laughs> and she'd like set them aside <laughs> for him and then he'd come in and he'd just buy the whole thing and and that was it. That was like my present. So I was like, so I always knew that if I like went and liked her stuff, Ty would go in and buy it. And he really enjoyed it because he never had to like worry about what he was picking out. Right. Because he knew that I liked it. It's almost like um, you have a friend. I know. It's almost like you should message him. <laughs> almost like maybe just be like yeah, hey i'm not friends with him i'm not friends with ty on facebook so friend him it's not like he doesn't know you i've always kind of thought that would be weird what <laughs> i don't know <laughs> why are you like this <laughs> have you met me yes yes yes, I have. <laughs> yes you have <laughs> that should explain so many times <laughs> i'm sitting here in a tiara and you don't understand why i think that would be weird I mean, of all the things we've done, why would that be the weird thing? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I can talk about a man's ass, but not talk to the man. I don't know. Yeah, it is weird when literally everybody knows him by his butt. Yeah. Like, not just you, but like coworkers, other friends Everyone. that I do. Zoom Hi, Ty. <laughs> yeah, you know, like. Um, the, I have the, a lot of conversations with the back of Ty's head, too. That, that's true. Everybody does. And yeah. um, usually like the hand over the shoulder waving. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And um, and the D&D &D night has also seen Ty's butt. Yeah. Yeah. Ty's butt is legend at this point. <laughs> Ty's butt is, his butt is legendary. Well, it is. You know, legendary. Yeah. <laughs> Cake as the kids say. <laughs> he, he oh my so goodness. Oh my God. He just gets all red and shakes his head and runs around the house in his underwear. I'm like, you don't want me to comment on your butt, then maybe get some clothes on. Put on some pants, boy. <laughs> He's so funny. Oh my God. Yeah, my son definitely comes by everything, honestly, because his sense of humor is like both of our humors. It's He's got Thai slapstick and my mental humor <laughs> and oh, sarcasm. <laughs> Yeah, the sarcasm oh. is uh, strong yeah. with that one. <laughs> Indeed. I also have felt the, the scutch sarcasm, and I love it. Oh, my God. That kid. I love it. Oh, he's a hoot. Mm -hmm. he, he said something the one day. Like, the first time he used air quotes, I almost fell off the chair laughing. Because he was, like, four. He was just out of toddlerhood, and he was just, like, air quotes. And I was like... I was like, no, you did not just give me air quotes. <laughs> and then I started laughing because it's hilarious. Toddler yeah. air quotes. And used correctly. Mm -hmm. That was even more impressive. So you're looking very regal today, darling. Am I? That's that's very much coronet and less tiara today. I don't know. Hmm. I am related to royalty on both sides of my family. <laughs> <laughs> the funny part is I actually am. That is my family. <laughs> the funnier part is we grew up kind of poor. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> like we sold off everything to come to America and then I grew up poor. <laughs> Yay, American dream. Yay, America. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's like, so let me get this straight. We had a castle in Italy. We do not have a castle in America. <laughs> not anymore. I would love to buy a castle in Italy. Yeah. And just make it. We've talked yeah. about it before. Yep. And buying just, Susan's castle. Yeah. Moving in. Making a giant compound where all my friends can come hang out. Yes. Maybe putting in a swimming pool. I feel like a swimming pool inside would be pretty sweet. Swimming pool inside would be awesome. I mean, it's big enough. It's got enough rooms. And I'm sure some of them are probably ruined enough that they just need a full, you know, tear out. So, hey. Swimming pool. Put an above ground swimming pool in the middle of the dance hall. <laughs> <laughs> One of those those movable pla- metal ladders. <laughs> So that's amazing. Keeping it classy. Um, what else have we got going on? Oh, we're going to, um, we've been researching shadow people. Mm-hmm. Susie found the hookups. She's going at it from one angle and I'm going to look at it from another. And we will also tell about our personal experiences with shadow people. With the shadow yeah. peeps. Shadow <laughs> peeps. <laughs> yeah, the, it's, the research is very interesting and you know it kind of goes down the rabbit hole a little bit both ways yes. so there's like the scientific shadow people and then there's the lore shadow people and then yes there's like what are they really quantum physics shadow people yeah so yeah it's yeah it's gonna be a good time it will be so tune in we're gonna have that for you uh friday or saturday yes yes stay tuned Lots of things. um we probably will not be doing as many Facebook lives because Facebook changed their interface yet again. <laughs> and yeah, it, and it's uh, it's not so fun anymore. Yeah, it made it damn near impossible to do a live yeah, onto the page. Did. So really we have to basically do a live onto one of our own personal pages and then share it to our yeah. page, which is silly. Which defeats could, the purpose of the live. Yeah, which defeats the purpose of even having a page at that point because this was like the whole point was to have everything housed right yeah. there and yeah yeah so we'll figure something out yeah we'll, we'll but, probably uh, just do it here record it and then share it yeah so stay tuned um and if you'd we'll like to see out. us talk about something um or you have your own shadow person stories comment below yeah and then we'll talk about them uh this week yeah totally um, or you know oh, sure. comment on the Facebook page because we do actually interact on the Facebook page. We're not. We're we not do, <laughs> and we interact on YouTube. Like engagement helps, gets oh, us yes. in that algorithm. So you know, mm-hmm. comment, like, share, subscribe, all those things you can do down there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, links are in the subscription box. Indeed, the description, not subscription. The links are in the the description box. Duh. Yes. description description yes yeah i'm i'm teaching my well i'm learning spanish through duolingo right now and so i i can say things but they sometimes come out weird because i'm trying to think in spanish half the time so that i can get the most out of my duolingo subscription (laughs) um yeah i was able to tell some dude riding his bike that his chain fell off (laughs) I didn't know what the word for chain was in Spanish. Right. So but like, you could gesture. Yeah, I was like, I'll chain you know, to bicicleta. <laughs> <laughs> and he looked at me like I was nuts. And I'm like, I'm not the one riding a bike without a chain uphill. <laughs> so, yeah. Nice. So, if I, uh, if I mess up with my talking, 
That might be part of it. Il cino di bicicletta. Il cino di bicicletta. I'm I'm awful at this. I really am. That's like, like when I first learned Italian and all I could ask was how much and I'd be like quanto costa. And they'd works. be like they'd be like this doesn't apply in this situation. You're like no. <laughs> quanto costa. <laughs> Yo quiero pagar. <laughs> See, I can say I want to pay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job. Oh, I find it goodness. interesting that like every language that I've learned that was taught, the first words they teach you is how to be a consumer. Yes. Like how to buy shit. And how to how buy to shit. For like the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't learn about how to ask for the bathroom in Spanish until like the third unit. And I was like, what? <laughs> I can buy a dress. I can buy dresses in various colors. I can ask I can, how much. Yeah, I can order food, but I, can I can't food. go to the bathroom. I can't go to the bathroom. Donde el baño? Yeah. Donde el baño? <laughs> Por favor. <laughs> you just in case you guys need to know. <laughs> exactly. I was just like, oh, geez. But yeah, it's it's so weird learning a new language this late because yes. you know it's I've got fading French and fading Italian um and of course English so now I'm, but do we speak English not really, I mean, really? I mean, we kind of invent our own words anyway I've got mm -hmm. German and um I have another one on the the to learn list I have a few on the to learn list but German's one of them too Mm -hmm. Yeah, figured I'd round out. Got a little bit of German, some Arabic, Italian, a little bit of Kosovar. Makes sense. Yeah. Got a little bit of languages from everywhere I've been. I haven't been to any of those places. <laughs> my family's Italian. Um, I spoke French with my mom because she took it in school and I took it in school. And I mean, I live in a German area, but nobody really speaks German anymore. So it's interesting. Like I'll say stuff in just like random German and people are just like, but, <laughs> and I'm like, look, as of 1940 something, you guys were still publishing papers in German yeah. in this area. How do you not speak German anymore? Like, Guten Tag, fellow townsfolk. Guten <laughs> <laughs> Tag, my locals. <laughs> Yates. Good danke und Ihnen. Yeah, I don't know German, um, but that that minimal minimal German I picked up from my sister because she decided she was going to speak German, even though like literally nobody in the house spoke German, so we couldn't even help her practice. I took French in ninth grade hated it i can still count to four and i remember the word for 14 that's about it that's all i got and on that note and on that note <laughs> happy tuesday adios hasta luego <laughs> ciao ciao bambini Bye. we love you Ha, ha, ha.